back and now we have the uh, the final the fifth law which is rule five and it states that uh, in a game of pure conflict zero sum game if it would be disadvantage uh, disadvantages for you to let the opponent see your actual choice in advance then you benefit by choosing at random from your available pure strategies um, this is actually quite uh, trivial if you like on the left you have the uh, paper uh, rock and scissors game and uh, you know that you shouldn't be playing one one strategy only if you're playing for example scissors all the time then the uh, the rock will always beat you and if the opponent knows you're playing scissors the opponent will always use rock so you have to mix those strategies uh, the difficulty of course is is in making a mix which really is a mix which is confusing the opponent in uh, soccer you have the example of the penalty kick you don't go to the goalie and tell him that you will kick to the uh, left side of the goal or let's be more clear to the right side of the goalie and then actually do that and repeat on doing this uh, you will you you understand that you will understand that you will uh, actually not want to tell the goalie where you are kicking and that you will have to mix which side of the goal you will be uh, kicking now uh, using the goalie example this leads into interesting situations where maybe if a uh, right foot uh, kicker is strong at kicking the ball to the uh, let's say the right side of the goal then the goalie knowing this would be uh, diving to uh, his left so even a right uh, a uh, football player with a strong right leg would need occasionally uh, to kick to his weaker side and uh, the same applies for the goalie if the goalie is good at diving and everybody knows he's good at diving to his right he would occasionally to mix the uh, penalty kickers need to lie the dive to his other side and this sometimes ends up in uh, what looks like absurd situations where a very very weak kick goes to one side of the goal and the goalie makes a very very uh, bad looking attempt to the other side of the goal so it looks like they cannot play the game at all but at the end of the day what the goalie should be doing is mixing his strategy and there are some research there is some research out there where uh, professional football players have been studied and looked at uh, how well they mix their strategies and of course the goal is not counting this but it is something which he has uh, intuitively learned and it uh, ends up at the end of the day that uh, intuitively the goal is diving with a mixed strategy in different directions um, so finally in the art of strategy by nail buff and dixit there are five simple rules they encourage you to follow in life so try applying them it's not as easy as it looks but uh, uh, perhaps it will give you some type of framework so the first is look forward reason backward the second is if you have a clear in other words a dominant strategy always use it uh, the third if you have uh, strategies which you should never play in other words dominated strategies then don't play them and cancel them out and keep on canceling them out from the uh, the, the model you have built until you have the uh, the final setup uh, rule four is that uh, once you have eliminated all of these uh, dominated strategies you can start looking out for the uh, Nash equilibrium and this is the Nash equilibrium are those strategies which are underlined by 
both of the players, if you remember from the, the uh, metrics and the underlining of best responses we did. And then finally, uh, uh, the rule five is that uh, if you don't have a, a clear uh, strategy, then you have to mix your strategies. Uh, I would encourage you to try and apply these, and I would also try you to uh, encourage you to start from the uh, from the art of negotiation, where, as I showed in the uh, the first slide, where if you have if both parties have two choices, and you can build these two choices uh, so that they are nicely intermixed then you have a, a good option for negotiating. And uh, just as a teaser, uh, you might want to look up on YouTube uh, how to get a salary increase and game theory. So type on the Google search engine game theory and salary increase, and you will see somebody applying this uh, thinking to getting a salary increase. Thank you.